Hey everybody, welcome to my shopping list video for December 18th, 2019. These are the books I'm looking at picking up this week. Uh, as far as this list goes, bunch of books on this list. I might have to split this up into two videos, we'll see. But uh, one thing you're going to notice that's missing from this list, from Marvel, they have a event coming out which is called Incoming. And I am, I'm pretty much going to be staying away from that event because I'm getting... I'm kind of getting sick of the events, uh, you know, to be honest. So you will not see that on this list today. But with that being said, let's go ahead and get started on with the books I am looking at picking up. And first book I'm looking at is from Marvel, and that is Guardians of the Galaxy, number 12. It's written by Donnie Cates, art by Corey Smith. Uh, synopsis on this is Thanos wins, Cosmic Ghost Rider, The Death of the hum Inhumans, Silver Surfer Black, Guardians of the Galaxy, it all, it's all been leading to this. So this is going to be, I guess, some sort of conclusion to all those books. I've been following this since uh, issue number one, so I'm definitely going to get this issue. And there's a couple, a few covers on this. You got the Jeff Shaw cover. You got the Tom Rainey cover. And you got the De Declan Shalvey cover. Alright, next book I'm looking at is Revenge of the Cosmic Ghost Rider number one. This is by Dennis Hopeless Hallam and Donnie Cates with art by Jeff Shaw. Uh, Cosmic Ghost Rider is back, baby, but with a reputation like his, it's only a matter of time before the law catches up to the future Frank Castle and tries to put him in chains. Too bad for law, chains are Castle's weapons of choice these days. Now, an in intergalactic prison. The writer is going to turn his cage into an all-out cage match. Who's going to be the last alien standing? Find out in this all-new miniseries from Dennis Hopeless Hallam, who wrote Marvel Spider-Man City at War, and Scott Hepburn, who wrote Deadpool. Plus, those don't miss out on a brand new short story from the guys who started it all, Donnie Cates and Jeff Shaw. All right, you got a few covers on this one. Got this Scott Hepburn cover. cover. Got this Adam Gorham cover. Got the Logan Lubera cover. Got a Ron Lim cover. And you got a Gerardo Zafino cover, which I like Zafino's work. All right, next book I'm looking at is Spider-Man number three. It's written by Henry Abrams and J.J. Abrams. With art by Sarah Pacelli. J.J. Uh, Abrams' comic debut continues, co written by his son Henry, with art by superstar Sarah Pacelli. The most anticipated comic of two 2019 takes a turn you won't believe. If you think you know what's going to happen, Peter and Mary Jane, next, you're wrong. I think there's a couple covers on this. Got the Olivier Coipo cover. You got the Giuseppe Camicoli cover. And you got another uh, Sarah Pacelli cover. All right, next from Marvel, we got the Eternals number one. This is the facsimile edition. It's written by Jack Kirby, with art by Jack Kirby. In 1976, the legendary king of comics, Jack Kirby, returned to Marvel, brimming with cosmic ideas, and none were bigger than the earth shattering immortals known as the Et Eternals. In this mind-blowing first issue, Kirby unleashes, unleashes the full brilliance of his unbridled imagination to reveal a secret history of heroes and horrors, in which two bizarre branches of humanity's cousins, the Eternals and the Deviants, vie to inherit the Earth. Prepare to meet Icarus, Warlord Crow, and a colorful cast of titans and terrors that could only have been conceived by the king himself. But who are the space gods known as the Celestials? And what happens if they are summoned back to Earth? It's one of the all-time great Marvel comic books. Boldly represented -pre in its original form, ads and all. So I like these facsimile editions, so I might be picking this one up. And you got the one cover, of course. Alright, this is a book that's on my pull list, so I'm definitely picking it up. This is Venom number 21, written by Donny Cates. I guess you got some Mark Bagley art in this one. And synopsis says, Venom Island begins here. Enough said. So, got a few covers on this. 
Got the Mark Bagley cover. Got the Clayton Crane, uh, I think it was a teaser cover. And you got the Carrie Rudolph 2020 variant. Oh, also got the Paolo Rivera. All right, next book you're definitely picking up. This is also on my pull list, and this is X Force number four, which is weird because X Force number three just came out this week, this past week. So it's uh, written by Ben Percy with art by Joshua Cassara. Uh, the best defense target all enemies of mutant kind. First, a new team strikes back against the humans who took one of their own. Then, with its orders established, the new X Force hits the ground running, taking on deadly threats targeting mutant kind. Rightful, mutant kind's rightful place in the world. So I've been enjoying this one. This is one I enjoy, enjoy the most out of all the Don of X books. So that's why I put it on my pull list. So I'm definitely picking it up. You got the Dustin Weaver cover, and that's it for that one. All right, moving on to DC. Books I'm looking at, uh, Batman Last Night on Earth, number three. I believe this is on my pull list, so I'm definitely picking it up. Uh, this is written by Scott Snyder with art by Jonathan Glapion. Gotham City has been remade. Omega reigns supreme. Can Batman finally accomplish what no other hero has and free the world from its his dark reflection's shadow? Or is it too late for the recreated Cape Crusader? Got a couple covers on this. You got the Greg Capullo. And you got the Raphael Albuquerque. All right, next up from DC, you got Doomsday Clock number 12. Finally, finally getting to the final issue of this long, long, long uh, maxi series. I don't even know what you call it. It's written by Jeff Johns with art by Gary Frank. It says, This is it. About damn time. The final showdown between Dr. Manhattan and Superman shakes up the DC Universe to its very core. But can even the Man of Steel walk out from the shadow of Manhattan? So I don't even remember what's going on in this book. But I've got 1 through 11. So I have to finish it off and I'm picking up number 12. And that's it. I'm done with it. Finally. Hopefully. Couple covers on this. Got the Gary Frank. Got the blank cover. The yellow blank cover. And you got another Gary Frank cover. All right, next book I'm looking at is Joker, Killer Smile, number two. I enjoyed issue number one. Uh, it's about, uh, well, we'll get into the synopsis in a second, but it's written by Jeff Lemire with art by Andrea Sorrentino. Uh, ben Arnell promised his wife and child one thing. Even though he spends his days attempting to reach the bottom of the Joker's insanity, he would never bring the madness home. No matter how dark the work gets, he would never allow the Joker's craziness to tear the family apart. And in that, he failed. The Eisner-winning creative team of Gideon Falls kicked their black-hearted chronicle of the Joker's destructive influence into high gear with an issue that turns the entire story on its head with disastrous consequences for Dr. Arnell. So I, I did enjoy the first one, so I might check this one out. We'll see. I got a little extra back issue bucks this week, so... Or not back issue bucks, but a, a coupon for $15 this week, so I might pick up some extra books. We'll see. So you got the Andrea Sorrentino cover and you got the Care Andrews cover. Next from DC, we got Suicide Squad number one, written by Tom Taylor, art by Bruno Redondo. Uh, Task Force X, nicknamed the Suicide Squad, unites some of the DCU's unlikeliest villains for its bloodiest series yet. The squad's new mission is to neutralize a new group of international super terrorists known as the Revolutionaries, and not everyone on either side will make it out back alive. But when the U.S. government's most deniable team of do-batters realizes that the surviving revolutionaries will be joining the squad, all hell breaks loose. Who can Harley Quinn and Deadshot trust when their new teammates are the very people the crew was assigned to kill? The Suicide Squad doesn't just need to worry about surviving their next mission. Now they have to survive each other. The acclaimed Injustice creative team of writer Tom Taylor and artist Bruno Redondo reunite for the wildest incarnation of a squad ever seen. I enjoy uh, Tom Taylor's work on Deceased, so I might enjoy this one. It's uh, got cover art by Ivan Rice and Joe Prado. You got a uh, Francisco Matina cover. And that's it. All right, next book is The Last God, number three, written by Philip Kennedy Johnson. 
art by Ricardo Federici. Uh, Beyond the Edge of Creation ties the black stare, and beyond it, amidst the voice, he waits. Moi Ultep, the last god. This is the tale of those who claim to slay him, and the world they doomed with their tries. Lies. In the third chapter of DC's dark fantasy epic, The Last God, Queen Scyanth and her unlikely companions make their way across the land of Ch Cain Unum toward the pinnacle city stronghold of the Guild Eldritch, a powerful order of sorcerers led by Skull, another fabled member of the original Fellowship of God Slayers. There they hope to find protection from the looming forces of Mol Otep and his inhuman servant King Tur in the past. We see young Tur, Scyanth, and Veko all moon damn, make their way toward a similar destination while they uncover more secrets of the last god's plan and make an unlikely ally. So you got this Kai Carpenter cover for this one. And that's it. Next book is from DC Black Label. So Lolo Woods number one. It's by Carmen Maria Machado and illustrated by Danny. Shudder to think Pennsylvania has been uh, on fire for years. The coal mines of Meath are long since abandoned. The woods are full of rabbits with human eyes, a deer woman who stalks hungry girls, and swaths of skinless men. And the, well, this is just a, another Joe Hill book coming to DC Black Label. There's been a couple of them I enjoyed, so I might check this one out. Got the cover by J.A.W. Cooper and a cover by Jenny Frizen. So those are the Marvel and DC books I'm looking at this week. Uh, my camera's about to stop on me, so I'm going to continue this on to another video where I show my indies. But yeah, those are the Marvel and DC, like I said. And I'll get back to the other ones in a little bit. Uh, stay tuned for part two of this, uh, this, uh, this shopping list video. Uh, yeah, you'll be checking it out. It's my indies coming up. I'll talk to you again later. All right, bye.